everyone, Amanda Saladin here from Love Life Yarn, and today we are going to be crocheting the Thick and Quick Scarf. This works out so quickly and it's great for absolute beginners, so it's a little variation of the single crochet, and it's not an affinity scarf, so there's no working in the round, but with the addition of a couple of buttons, it has a lot of versatility, and the yarn is so thick, it works up super fast. So it's one of the things that I worked up, one of my designs I worked up early on, and I love it. I wear it. I also have a hat that I'm going to be putting up soon. You can find the blog. I'll link down below, and I'll have the tutorial up for it. So if you're a beginner, this is something you can easily make. Let me show you how versatile this is. Okay, supplies that we're going to need for this project are just one skein of the Lion brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick, any colorway. I had an extra skein of this spice color left over after I completed another project, so I used it then. And I also really love the peacock, which is this right here. I did the Thick and Quick hat that you can make to go with this if you like in this color. And you need two one inch buttons. I chose these wooden buttons. But I had that way you could make it into an infinity scarf. You'll end up just slipping it through one of our chain spaces. So no need to worry about making buttonholes. Just slides on through there really easily. You'll need some matching thread and your yarn needle and a, a sharp sewing needle and then some scissors. And you'll also need, of course, our hook. I use this big size Q hook, which is 15 millimeters. This one's also a Lion brand. I've had it for quite a while. I really like the big size of it. At the time that I bought it, it was the largest size that I really knew of. And of course now there's much, much larger, and I even own, of course, a lar larger hooks than this one. So this is all you need. And then a good skein of this and some buttons, and then of course your needles, thread, and scissors. All right, let's get started. Okay, since this is such a good project for beginners, I'm going to start from the very basics. And we're going to make a slip knot. So come from underneath your hook and on top. Go around the working arm, make a circle around it, and then pull it through. And then usually I hold my yarn or wrap it around my pinky. But I have found that these thicker yarns, that's hard for me to control the tension that way, so I'm just going to wrap it over my finger like this and hold on to it. And we're going to chain 17. The way you chain is you just pull it over your hook and through the loop. You do this 17 times. We have it another kind of loose and bumpy right now because this is so big, but it will work out. And now we're going to do an extended single crochet into the fifth chain. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, because so we count back five. This is the one we're going to work in. A lot of people work in just this loop like this, or you can work into the back, which is what I like to do. I like to turn over and see. There's like a V in this little bump right here. That's what I work into. So to work an extended single crochet, you just put it underneath this bump right here, yarn over, pull through one. Okay, you've pulled up a loop. A regular single crochet, you would just yarn over and pull through both. But since this is extended single crochet, we're gonna pull through one and then yarn over again and pull through two. Chain one. Skip the next chain. Extended single crochet here in the next one. So put your yarn 
hook in, yarn over, pull the loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two. And repeat, you'll chain one, skip one, extended single crochet, skip one, extended single crochet, skip one, extended single crochet, all the way to the end. And your very last stitch right there should be an extended single crochet. Okay, now I'm down to my last two, and I'm gonna show you just kind of the last little one looks. Here, the last chain. So we'll just do our extended single crochet into there. And here's what your first row should look like. Now turn your work. Where your hook is back near the side of your dominant hand and chain three. Okay, now this chain three is going to take the place of this stitch and the chain one. So skip this first single crochet, skip this chain space. We're coming right here to this stitch. You'll see there are two loops right here, or a loop that we made from the last round. Looks like a V. So insert your hook in this big hole right here. Pull the loop. Extend the single crochet. Pull through one. Pull through both. Chain one. Continue this way all across. This is a chain space, so skip this. You're going to work Right in here, skip, right in here, skip. So you'll do that all the way to the last one, and I'll show you how to work into this chain space. Now the now at the end of every row, we're gonna have this chain three. This first chain is gonna be in place of the chain one, so you're gonna skip this one right here, and we're going to get underneath the two loops of the next chain. So this is how I do mine. I do one loop at a time, like this, and then you work an extended single crochet in, just like that, and it finishes off evenly. So then you'll turn and work row two over and over again, chain three, skip the first extended single crochet, chain one, work in here, skip, Work in here, skip. Just doing the same row now, row two, over and over until you get to really the end of your skein of yarn. I just did mine as long as the skein of yarn would allow. So that's easy enough. You just work until you run out of yarn. All right, and when you come to the end of the skein, you're gonna have a nice long, scarf. Mine was about 45 inches. And you just kind of decide where you want your buttons. Mine are just about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, half an inch in from the sides. And I just kind of lined it up with, you can tell it's been, this is kind of stretched out more from me keeping the button on it. But you just kind of find where a good place would be, a chain space, and you sew your button on. So in one direction first, and come across, and make an X, skip a button like this, and then you just slip it through, and you have it on both ends, and that way it can be, you know, the infinity scarf, like when I did that one, I put these, you know, at my neck, and they just hit under my hair, or if you want to showcase them, like when I wrapped it three uh, twice, you can do that as well, and then just put them on, and your scarf is done. Of course, weaving in your ends, and that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching. Find more than 100 free patterns at lovelifeyarn.com. Subscribe for more video tutorials. I put them up weekly.